Ediacaran organisms are among the oldest multicellular life forms discovered on Earth. These organisms existed during the Ediacaran period, between 635 and 541 million years ago, dwelling in the depths of the oceans before the Cambrian explosion. They were first discovered in 1946 in the Ediacaran Hills of Australia, from which they derive their name. The size of their bodies varied significantly, ranging from a few millimeters to over a meter. Typically, their bodies were soft, flat, and lacked structures such as heads, legs, or mouths. These organisms lived on the ocean floor. Some absorbed nutrients from their surroundings, while others depended on bacteria or algae for sustenance. Studying Ediacaran organisms helps us understand the early evolution of multicellular life, demonstrating that life was already complex before the Cambrian explosion. Scientists have classified Ediacaran organisms into eight types based on their structure and morphology. Additionally, some enigmatic and unclassified forms remain, which could not be categorized. Let's explore these in detail. 1. Dickinsoniomorphs Dickinsonia Flat, oval-shaped marine organisms with segmented bodies resembling ribs. Length ranged from a few millimeters to 1.4 meters. Likely moved along the seafloor and absorbed nutrients for sustenance. One of the earliest multicellular animals, its structure suggests a relationship to animals. Andiva, an oval-shaped organism with a segmented body and clear axial structure, lived on the seafloor, either stationary or crawling slowly, likely fed on sediment or absorbed nutrients. Possibly a close relative of Dickinsonia, classified among Ediacaran organisms. Vigia, a large, flat, elongated organism up to 25 centimeters in length. Segmented body, resembling Dickinsonia. Crawled on the seafloor, relying on absorption for nutrition. Flexible body adapted for movement, representing the complexity of Ediacaran life. Vingia, small, oval organism, 10 to 15 millimeters in length. Bilaterally symmetrical, segmented body. Likely lived in sediments and absorbed nutrients for sustenance. Considered a link between animals and plants, potentially an ancestor of Dickinsonia. 2. Rangimorphs. Charnia. Feather like, long organism anchored to the ocean floor. Length ranged from 20 centimeters to 2 meters. Acquired nutrients through photosynthesis or absorption. Resembled plants or fungi, but was unrelated to either, surviving in deep sea environments without light. Ranhea. Feather shaped, segmented and symmetrical organism. Stationary, residing on the seafloor. Segments connected to a central axis. Absorbed particles from water for sustenance, distinct from other Ediacaran organisms. Fractofusis, long, spindle-shaped organism. Stationary, reproduced by cloning nearby individuals. Absorbed particles from water for nutrients. Known for its simple reproduction and colony-forming ability, Demonstrating early life complexity. Bradgacia, bush like organism with branched, feather like structures, comprised of multiple branches and segments. Anchored to the seafloor, absorbed fine particles from water for nutrition. Considered a complex Ediacaran organism. 3. Tribrachiderms. Tribrachidium, a three part symmetrical, round, and complexly structured organism. It remained stationary on the seafloor and filtered nutrients from the water. Its unique design set it apart from other Ediacaran organisms, likely neither a plant nor clearly an animal. Its triangular symmetry showcases the diversity of early evolutionary experiments. Halidea, likely floated in the water or lived on the sediment. Its structure suggests it relied on absorption for nutrition. Limited information is available about this organism. Triforolonia, a triangular-shaped organism with a complex structure, made it distinct. It remained stationary on the ocean floor, likely absorbed fine particles for nutrition. 4. Ernietomorphs. Ernietta, a bag-shaped, stationary organism, anchored to the seafloor via root-like structures. Filtered nutrients from water currents for sustenance. Its structure supported communal living considered a vital component of early aquatic ecosystems. Pteridinium, 
a feather-like or thin ribbon-shaped organism up to one meter in length. Symmetrical and segmented body. Anchored to the seafloor, it remained stationary. Absorbed particles from water for nutrition. Regarded as one of the most complex organisms of the Ediacaran period. Five medusides. Cyclomedusa, a flat, circular organism, had a central circular structure surrounded by symmetrical rings. Lived stationary on the seafloor. Archaroa, a small, round organism with five-fold symmetry. Its structure resembled modern echinoderms, stationary on sediment surfaces. Featured a central circular pattern, believed to be a possible ancestor of early echinoderms. Six frond-like organisms. Charnia discus, a feather-shaped, elongated organism, anchored to the seafloor via a stalk used its branches to filter particles from water for nutrition. One of the stable inhabitants of the deep sea, considered a close relative of Charnia. Primocandelabrum, shaped like a candlestick with branches attached to a central axis, lived stationary on the seafloor, absorbing nutrients from water. Its intricate design contributed to marine ecosystems, represented the complexity of Ediacaran organisms. 7 tubular and worm-like forms. Kimberella, a flat, oval-shaped and mobile organism, had a mouth and a muscular organ, likely a radula, used for feeding, capable of crawling and scraping algae from surfaces, considered a significant link in the evolution of animals. Its structure connects it to the early ancestors of mollusks. Cloudina, the earliest known organism with a hard external skeleton tubular and segmented structure, lived in groups, anchored to the seafloor. Its hard shell likely evolved as protection against predators, an early example of invertebrate defense mechanisms. 8. Enigmatic and unclassified forms. Sprigina. This was a slender and elongated organism with a segmented body. Its segmented body and head structure make it resemble early arthropods. It was an active creature that crawled on the seafloor. It likely sifted sediment for food. It is considered one of the ancestors of arthropods or annelids. Parvin Carina. This was a small, shield-shaped organism with a symmetrical structure in the middle. It had a central ridge and several grooves on its body. It was either stationary or crawled slowly on the seafloor. Its structure establishes it as an early relative of arthropods. Scientists are still uncertain about the exact relationships of many Ediacaran organisms. These creatures are considered part of early animals, fungi, or an entirely extinct branch of life. Whatever future scientific research uncovers, there is no doubt that these glimpses of ancient life provide insights into Earth's earliest ecosystems.